it's another lovely day here in the UK and I'm just about to give Gary a hand he don't know I'm doing it I've painted his lawnmower deck for him see you in a minute Bison, away. Bison, away. Go on, down there. Go on, down there. Well, as you know, I'm doing the uh, pimped up, riced up lawnmower at the moment, and uh, Gary was out here the other day with me, and he was preparing his own uh, lawnmower deck. Gary's away at the moment. He's uh, gone to Grimsby. He's doing some stuff up there, so I thought I'd just prepare his deck for him. He had it in primer, and all I've done basically is rub it down to 500 grit paper, and I've just given it that tin of rattle can paint. Let's show you. There we go. This is just a cheap tin of a uh, two pound paint. Nothing spectacular. All we're looking for here was to get the colour. There's a label over the top of our um, graphic there, as you can probably see, which I'll be peeling off shortly because I'm going to be uh, giving this a coat of lacquer now just to make it uh, durable. But what I'm going to do first is I've actually made some graphics up to go here. This was called a Trojan, but basically all these lawnmowers of this price bracket are the same. And all I've done is create a new sovereign graphic to go on the front here. Let's go have a look what I've done there. Right, so this is how I do my graphics. This is called a Silhouette Cameo, this thing here. And what it gives you the ability to do is to take a graphic in the software and basically cut lines out onto vinyl. And this is actually what I've done here. Let me show you. All I've done here is to create some vinyl, as you can see, let me go back to the design window. And all I've got here is a sheet of paper. And let me just take all these off, for example, these ones I don't want on there for a minute. Just move them off the screen. And all I've got there is the single one there, as you can see. And that is just the border, which I've got going around there and the word sovereign in the middle and what that's done for me is able, enable me to cut out of a sheet of uh, vinyl to cut out that exact same shape i've done that now so let's take that over to the table and weed out the design right okay then so here we are over at our table these are the graphics as you can probably see for the trotter van they're all ready to be applied and uh, i got these from neil huckle off of uh facebook off of his facebook group if you want to go over there and take a look the great thing about getting them off of Neil is he's done all the spacing for you, so you haven't got to line everything up. He's already using the very uh, similar font to the original van, so I thought, well, why not get him off of Neil? So there you go, Neil Huckle on Facebook, and I think he's uh, got a web page as well. I think it's Delboy Van, I think, .co.uk. I might be wrong there, but uh, if not, go to uh, Facebook and find his Reliant page on there. So I'm just going to put them to one side for the moment. Right, so what we've got here then is our vinyl. And with this vinyl, as I say, you've got molding by absolutely loads and loads of different colours. I've just got black, white, grey and orange there at the moment. I wanted to do this in gold, but I haven't got any gold. And uh, what we have to do now is to prepare these for putting onto a release paper. And all I'm going to do now is just cut them out. Well, let me put you on time lapse for that and then you can see me in a minute. So let me, let's, let's do that first. So that's basically how I make my graphics up. And what we've got there is, this is an application tape, this uh, clear thing on the surface. And all you do then is you pull away, pull away your, um, your backing, what comes with it. And as you can see, the graphic is then left on the application tape. And all you do then is line it up and then press it on. Now I'm gonna just eye this up. it like that you want to get all the air bubbles out there obviously and as you can see just sort of just push it on and we're just looking at making sure we've got a good contact with our um, 
application tape and then peel it back and as you can see there we go there's our sovereign sticker on looking mighty splendid how about that and once we lacquer over that that will lacquer into the surface well pleased with that i'm sure gary will be as well very nice indeed so now we've got the graphic on i'm just going to mix up the lacquer and then i'll give it a coat of lacquer and then we'll leave it at that right here we go A little black bugs out here at the moment so it's not the best way to do this but I've got no other alternative. Right I've had no other option but to bring it inside them little black beetles were going all over it. I've got them all off lucky enough but uh, I wasn't going to take the chance. I've got the ventilation fan in there now and we're now going to just put this second coat on and leave it at that so just bear with me. I think that's enough for me today. I've done the underside of the pimped up lawnmower. A few of you have been having a few guesses in the comment section. We'll have to wait and see. If I get chance, I'll paint that tomorrow. I've got to rub it down first. This one, Gary doesn't know I've done, so he'll probably see the video and think, that saves me a bit of work. But no one's gonna save me work. I'm gonna to have to do this myself. Anyway, let's just show you where this is now. This is dry underneath. As you can see, it looks a whole lot better now. This has been uh, done with smooth right paint which is a, a, an enamel product so I'm very happy with that that just requires a rub down on the surface now and hopefully we're going to get some graphics on the uh, pimped up lawnmower something pretty much like this hopefully and uh, yeah we'll be doing that on our vinyl cutter so all in all a productive little session there haven't been out here for long but it's too nice to be standing in here so I'm going to go out and enjoy a bit of the sun with Sharon anyway thanks very much for watching just a little quick fly, uh, fast blast on this one and we'll see you again in the next video and until then Bye for now.